Are you unsure of which Google Workspace option to pay for? Standard and Starter seem similar, so why would you pay twice as much? Especially for those people just starting their business, Starter seems like the logical choice. But there are definitely perks you get in Business Standard that are worth the extra $6 a month. Watch until the end to learn about the perks in Gmail, Drive, and Calendar that I believe are totally worth this extra $6 per month. Hello, I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions. Every week I hear, I didn't know Google could do that. Let me know in the comments below what things you want Google to be able to do for you. In the starter business package, for $6 per month per user, you get 30 gigs of storage per user, as many users as you want, it's connected to your domain name, and you get all the apps associated with any Google account. In addition, you can add on a Google Voice phone number for your business for $10 per month. In Business Standard, for $12 per month per user, you can again have as many users as you want. You get two terabytes of storage per user that is shared among all users. And again, all the apps that are associated with it Plus, you can add Google Voice for $20 per month for one line. In addition, I'm about to tell you about six perks of Google Business Standard. Two perks in each of three apps, Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. In your Gmail, when you compose a new message in Google Business Standard, you get a new button down at the bottom called Layout. When you choose that, you can have many layouts for an email template that you would like. So whether it's a call to action, simple text, an announcement, a newsletter, new service, or referral, you have two different options. So let's say I am about to make a newsletter. I can choose that. Notice I have branded it with my personal colors. And now if I say insert this email template, I can go ahead and replace these images and all this text with my own. So this is an email template that upgrades your Gmails very quickly. In addition, you can have your socials at the bottom, your business name, your website, and the most important part is that when you go to send your email, you can send it to people or you can use the mail merge feature to mail merge with people in your contacts or add from a spreadsheet. When you do the mail merge feature, you will also notice it says you're using mail merge, personalize your message with merge tags like first name. Each recipient will get a separate copy of this email with a unique unsubscribe link, which is extremely important to ensure that you are in compliance with emailing standards. Two perks in Google Drive. The first is that you can now create shared drives, which you could not in Business Starter. So shared drives are a separate drive other than my drive, and it is a place for pooled storage, pooled documents, things shared among everybody in your domain in your Google Workspace. So if you have an assistant, you can work with them in a shared drive. The most important thing to remember about shared drives is that the drive itself owns the files, which means that it's not the individual that created it, but instead it is the company drive that owns the files. So this is very helpful if you're working with contractors, people that come in and out a lot, the files that they create in there stay with the company and are owned by the drive, not by the person. Another perk to Google business standard is that when you create documents or sheets or slides or forms, you can not only create from a blank document, but in all Gmail accounts, there are templates available. But I will show you. These general templates and template gallery is already included all the time, but you can make your own company gallery of things with your letterhead, templated documents that you use all the time, and so forth. So this template gallery, and you can create a new one and submit a template is another perk to Google Business Standard. 
I'd like to show you two perks of Google Calendar in Google Business Standard. The first is time insights on your calendar. So this is one calendar and if I use color coding to change the color of my events, I can actually label them. And when I make a meeting with that label, then Google calculates for me how many hours I have spent on each thing this week. If I click more insights, I get an actual graph over here. How many hours on my Google clients, tentative things, marketing and social media, clients, leads, working on my YouTube videos, etc. And it breaks it down. Also time in meetings. If I look at a whole month, now it's showing me November 1 through 30th and how much I spent on each type of work. For those of us who are tracking our time, this is a huge time saver and a very big efficiency for KPIs. The last Google Calendar feature perk of Google Business Standard is appointment schedules. So when you create an event, it can be an event, out of office, task, etc. But you now have appointment schedules, which means that you can make a booking link or page for others to book with you. So if I say test meeting and I say does not repeat, it is only on December 9th from 9 to 3. Notice on December 9th, it has half hour meetings scheduled and I can give a lot of specifics. Then once I say save, it gives me a booking page. And now I can send this link by sharing it to my clients and they can then book their own appointments at these time slots and it will land on both of our calendars. I hope this better helps you understand the differences and between business starter and standard and the perks with standard. Overall, there are perks in Gmail, Drive, Calendar, and more that will save you time and money in the long run. So even as a small business owner or one who is just starting off, the extra $6 a month per user to get to Google Business Standard is totally worth it so that you can use all the features that Google has to offer before you start adding on other systems. Once you've decided which option to purchase, get my DIY Google Workspace Setup Checklist in the links below to ensure you check all the boxes. And there's a bonus in the checklist for a discount on your pricing. If you want some help setting up any of these things in your Google Workspace, grab a VIP session to discuss how I can help you. If this video was helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions and make time and space for what they value most.